Hi there, it's Victor here. Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another session of how to grow your wealth. Today we'll be talking about ETF versus index fund versus mutual fund, which is the good, the bad, and the ugly. Aren't you interested to know the main difference between these funds? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about detail, compare, and contrast to know which of them that you can get started with. You see, I create this content as educational only, so due diligence has to always be taken. It's kind of a stepping stone guideline. So if you are here for the first time, please consider subscribing. Also press the bell button to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Now to get started with the compare and contrast, let's hop over to my desktop because we have a tabulated form where we can, you know, compare visually. So let's hop over. Yeah, so right now I'm um, up on my desktop. I'm just going to do um, exchange traded funds, index funds, mutual funds, compare and contrast the good, the bad, and the ugly. Which one would you prefer? Which one would you, you know, start up your investment journey with? So, number one, mutual funds are actively managed. That means um, they have portfolio managers, which means someone is doing the work for them. Index fund is passively managed. They track uh, the market index, so S&P 500 or the FTSE 100. And exchange traded fund, the good thing is that it's both active and passively managed. Uh, you know, it also tracks index, which is index ETF. That's why it's passive. And also you have sector ETF, which are like commodities. That's why it's active. Point number two. Mutual fund is the easiest way. So no knowledge required. So you can just come in, put in your money. You don't even know which of the shares in your portfolio. And you just let it go because someone manages for you. And then with index funds, some knowledge is required. You need to know a little bit about the market. You have to know which of the funds or the index funds are overperforming, which are underperforming, which of them to choose in your portfolio. And then for exchange traded fund also, you need to know some, you know, you need to have some basic knowledge because you have to make a decision if you want to choose sector or index. By the way, all these funds are... All these funds are diversified portfolio. They are not single stock. So it's like um, shares, bonds, all in a basket or a pool, just like we said. So all of them have least, they have little risk because they are diversified portfolio. The point number three, we we'll go to fees, 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 you know. Mutual fund, because it's managed by a portfolio manager, I mean, they want to get paid for the time and the structure we know. Management fee, the load fee, and then you also have the administration fees. So the fees are high. With index fund, you have less or no fees. And uh, with exchange traded fund, you also have less or sometimes with no fees at all. Okay, point number four. Uh, mutual funds, minimum amount to start. So with most, most on the most part with mutual fund, you need thousand dollar or two thousand sometimes even three thousand dollars with like some some plans to get in with index fund you have no or some minimum amount with exchange traded fund you have no minimum amount to start it looks like something is winning here and last but not the least when we talk about liquidity how accessible you can have your money some of the funds will tie your money for a certain period of time, three to five years, like mutual fund will do. So mutual fund have no liquidity. Index fund is a little flexible. You can pull out, uh, you know, with, as time goes on. And then when you come to exchange trader fund, it's highly liquid. You can trade by yourself. If you decide to be an active trader, you can do buy and sell by yourself. There's no, nothing restricting you. Uh, to, to get into that. So now, question of the day. Which broker do you think would give you the best, the best funds, which means you have no minimum amount to start with, 
no commission fee, and no fees to start. I did some research. I have a couple of them down below. I have Quest Trade, which is an online broker, and uh, I also understand that Robinhood also, they also have no commission fee. So which brings us to the end of this session. If you find it valuable, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, let me know. Until then, I will see you on the next video. Have a Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.